that as the decision on who will be Chief Minister of Telangana is going to be made shortly. We are joined now by uh, Manikam Tagore, Lok Sabha MP of the Congress Party, also a man who was formerly in charge of Telangana, who spent a long time there in that state. Sir, thank you so much for speaking to us. My first question, an obvious one at this moment, who's going to be Chief Minister of Telangana? Is it clearly going to be Revant Reddy? Or we believe that there are other names also doing the rounds? Yeah, thank you. Uh, Telangana, the MLA's meeting is over, I think, and the individual opinions of the, the MLA's will be taken, and it has been taken by the uh, four observers who have been deputed by Honorable Congress President. And then they will report back to Congress President about the, uh, the view of the MLA's. Then Congress President will take a call. This is the procedure on which Congress travels. It is not that we have a, a closed envelope from uh, uh, Delhi and uh, we announced that the name. It is a democratic process, mm -hmm. which Mr. Rahul Gandhiji has initiated long back ago. Mm -hmm. And the Congress Party has always followed this for the past uh, seven, eight years. And we have been able to do that in a, uh, in a uh, nice way. And we have done it in Karnataka, we have done it in Himachal. And uh, our observers are capable leaders who have gone there, and they will uh, leave it to the Congress president to decide with the facts in this table. Right, you're right. You did it in Karnataka, you've done it in Himachal. The only thing with Telangana, sir, is that at 65, while at a 70 or a 75, the Congress could take it easy. At 65, given the political climate, 64 plus 1, there Observers feel that there is a sense of nervousness about potential attempts. Any kind of friction within is not uh, not healthy for the party, given that number there in Telangana. How, you know, is there a sense of nervousness, A, and B, uh, how soon will this decision be taken and a swearing-in carry out there in Telangana? First is there is no nervousness in Congress and we are all very confident and we know that Telangana, people of Telangana has rejected uh, the harsh trading which the, BJ, uh, the, TD, the TRS is following. And the way they were uh, buying the MLAs and others has uh, hurt them the most. Uh, because many of those people who had sh shifted the parties uh, bought them over as lost in, uh, for BRS. And they are the main reasons for their defeat itself. But so that pol politics of uh, which Mr. Amisha... Uh, uh, does it in the name of Operation Kamala, uh, 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 like in Karnataka and Mara, Madhya Pradesh and others, buying the MLAs through money power and but the agency's power won't work in Telangana. We are very clear. We are uh, we have a process in place and uh, our MLAs are committed people who have been in the party and they had fought for a clear-cut uh, agenda and the people believe that uh, they are... They are uh, their agenda has to be implemented and for that they, are, they will be united and Congress President will be deciding it whenever uh, the AACC observers report back to him. Okay, so do we expect, I mean, can you give us clarity? My last question on Telangana before I move to larger issues, can we expect clarity by, let's say, by the end of the day or by tomorrow? Because during election campaign, Mr. Ravant Reddy had said that the swearing-in will take place on December 9th, which is Mrs. Sonia Gandhi's birthday. Do we expect it to go on till then or do we expect it in the next 24 to 48 hours to seal the deal there in Telangana? No, I am not dealing it directly with Telangana. Therefore, I don't know the real uh, situation there. But uh, as Ravant Bhai would have been speaking in the political uh, the political rhetoric there in uh, the campaign part uh, set up. Uh, we can keep it that away. But Congress leadership will decide it in a correct way. And we need to give Congress President a reasonable time that all MLAs and all leaders in, in Telangana knows that thing that Congress President should be given the reasonable time to complete his consultations. And uh, that will usually uh, uh, the consultation process which makes uh, the Congress, other leaders in the state also, part of it is very important for the uh, state of Telangana also. Right, that's right. Uh, now, I'm just going to take a broader picture, sir. Uh, there was a momentum that the Congress had after the Karnataka elections. Uh, 
has that completely gone post the Hindi heartland wipeout for the party? Most observers believe that the bounce that the Congress had may have been snatched away by the BJP in the Hindi heartland. Yeah, this is the this is the narrative being uh, trying to be built by certain section of media, which you are uh, be, you are also getting in, uh, uh, getting that uh, a narrative is impacting you also. But uh, as a data point, as as you are a political uh, journalist who covers politics for long, and uh, as a political student for me, I just throw a political uh, as a data point to you. It is, just I was going through it, and uh, Congress uh, got four four pro ninety two lakh votes in the five state election four state elections, and BJP got four pro eighty one lakh votes. That is, the difference was ten lakh and sixty four thousand votes. The four Congress party is not decimated. That is not called that thing. Congress party in North India is decimated. Congress party has just lost everything in the uh, North India. That is. We are a party, we, we are having 4 crore 64, 92 lakh votes and they are having 4 crore 9, 81 lakh votes. Mm. For Congress party, seat numbers has fallen because of different reasons. For example, Rajasthan, 52 MLAs has lost, 18 ministers has lost. There is a clear-cut anti-incumbency against the MLAs and the uh, um, uh, uh, ministers. Mm. The same, same thing happens in Chhattisgarh. Ministers, more than a dozen ML ministers has lost and uh, more than a 20 MLAs has uh, lost. Because there is a, uh, the mechanism which we need to fix in the Congress party is about the uh, sitting getting story has to end now. Congress party has to, be, uh, has to evolve some kind of mechanism because Congress party is not an authoritative party, it's a democratic party. Therefore, we can't just say that man, uh, tomorrow if there is an anti incumbency against my constituents, I'll not be saying that Manik, your ticket is cut because there is anti incumbent signals. That has to be told. The, 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 we have reached to a level now, people are fed up with the MP or an MLA. The, the data shows now, because of the survey and others, we can convince the, the, the candidate that you are going to lose an election. Instead, you wait for this time. That is the approach we should do it. That is the strong uh, way we need to work on it. But in a democratic way, we have to work on that. It's a that's, very, the, that's the ma major, major challenge in my view. It's a very important point that you make. You're saying that, look, the party first needs to now decide that sitting MLA or a sitting MP does not necessarily mean that they'll get a ticket. It will have to be data driven in terms of who can win and who cannot in terms of anti gimsy You believe that that's the reason why Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh went away from the Congress? Yes, but perfectly. You put it in a nice way. I, I was... Elaborating in a bigger, uh, long, large, longer way, but you put it in a very precise way. That's the same thing I'm saying. Right? That it's it has time for the Congress, Congress in the state level has to come to because this is not an all India story which way you can put it. It is a state level leadership has to come to conclusion. You should realize that defeat is a defeat for that candidate also. It all is right. a defeat for more for the party, and it is a defeat for that candidate also. His political career also gets uh, stopped there after a defeat. Good friends who had been. Uh, with me, uh, when they, after their defeats, what they become, we know about it. How much it affects their political mind as well as the personal life also. How it affects, we all know that thing. That a defeat is a serious thing. Instead, to avoid a defeat, somebody, somebody, some expert should say, think that, boss, you are, li li lose, you are going to lose it. Instead, you can wait for some time. Okay. Win, win brings everything. Loss takes away everything in politics, sir. It's a, it's a big, uh, this one. And, and obviously, most, most politicians have seen that lesson. I want to focus now on the INDIA alliance per se. Uh, the alliance partners have felt that, you know, even the smallest of smaller parties should be taken along. In hindsight, was it a failure of the Congress not to be able to go into these elections as an alliance and alienating allies? Could that have potentially made a difference in a state like Madhya Pradesh, specifically where Mr. Kamal Nath's comments on Akhilesh Yadav was seen by several allies as something of an insult to smaller regional forces? It's a very difficult uh, question to answer because Mr. Kamalath is a senior leader of Congress and he has dealt these kind of alliances in a, in different kind of states. He has de dealt it in other states. He has been in charge of Tamil Nadu. He has been in charge of many states. Which he, has, uh, uh, he has stitched alliances and others. 
but in madhya pradesh where we went wrong the party the party general secretary radeep surjewala ji has to give a report to the congress president and there will be some kind of thinking into it in my view it's a very tough thing for the congress party to understand the uh, importance of stitching alliances because okay. these states where madhya pradesh rajasthan chatisgarh and others there is no alliance part politics has come for example tamil nadu we had been learned we had learned about it hmm. uh, in kerala we know the value of an alliance uh, politics okay but other states that that understanding it, it takes lot of time because usually we'll think that we are sacrificing our seat to the another uh, another uh, party that's the view in the in the eye side we take a uh, view about it therefore it's a very important uh, uh, point that congress uh, congress leadership in this state like madhya pradesh rajasthan has to under, uh, has to get together get their acts get the data in place for example rajasthan also cpm scores a number of votes one one of my data friends has sent to me a data on the rajasthan uh, numbers how many seats how much votes they got it as uh, cpm when they were asking demanding some seats and others so it it happens to telangana also there are cpm has uh, right. taken some votes in that so it's a very di- difficult discussion this can the test state level leadership has to understand the value of of okay. uh, alliance also in that it's an important point again that you make state level leadership needs to understand the value of alliance my last question to you sir because we're running out of time very quickly do we see the congress change its relationship equations with the INDIA alliance partners and i ask you this specifically because you've given the example of tamil nadu and other states where one ally is clearly the dominant party it seems easy for the congress to create an equation but where it needs to learn to deal with allies as equals that's where the problem seems to be coming do you believe there will be a decisive change so we need to understand that congress national leadership is very clear in it, that therefore only india alliance has come congress the national leadership is very clear that we have to work with different parties and we have to uh, okay. give and take that is the equation national but the state level alliances when it comes to the state level understand understanding state level leaders has to understand that thing that is right. the uh, that's the di- practical difficulty we are be- facing through whichever states maharashtra leaders understand the alliance politics okay uh, kerala leaders understand the politics of alliance tamil nadu leaders understand the politics of alliance the assam leaders has now understand the politics of alliances mm-hmm. so it depends upon the state leadership and it, it will take little time and we all hope that we all understand that the the our friends will also understand the value of uh, this there seems to be very little time left that's really the problem but uh, thank you so much mr manik tagore i wish we could speak more about the south north divide as well but we're running completely short of time you made two very imp- important points one uh, deal with candidates not on the basis of sitting getting but on the basis of data on whether anti incumbency or not works and the second point you're making is that the national leadership is extremely aware of the alliance issues it's on a state by state where the state leaderships need to understand the importance of carrying forward with allies from a national point of view thank you mr manikam tagore for making those two points uh, we'll take a very short break here on ndtv with the news continues